Hi, welcome to my video channel. My name is Jessica and I'm a librarian with plants. Now today we're going to talk about a specific prayer plant that I have called the Maranta Lucanera. And if I didn't pronounce that correctly, I'm going to have a website called howtopronounce.com say it for us. Maranta Lucanera. Let's start. This is the green Maranta, and this one's the red Maranta. The green Maranta, when it has new leaves, it has very dark um, tracks. That's what they call little rabbit tracks on top, but it mostly stays green, and as it ages, it stays um, a very light and uh, medium green. Whereas the red Maranta has red in its veins here, and it's relatively the same other than the, the red veins. I first received the green Maranta about four months ago, and it was during a time it was get, it was already winter-ish, and so I didn't see a lot of growth, um, but I did try really hard to see how I could get some new leaves. Now it's blossomed into so many different leaves and stems that I've actually had to upgrade to this one, and then now I'm propagating these two. So this plant is just gonna give you a lot of leaf love if you give it all the care that it needs to grow. And so it's really exciting because then you can get a lot of plants out of the one mother plant. The red Maranta I received as a birthday present from my brother. We got it off of Etsy and it was delivered with just this one stalk here and it has all these little baby plants. So I've never seen it in this kind of small little baby plants like this and they don't even have color yet. Um, and it is starting to grow a new leaf here. What's fun about their new leaves is that they're kind of all rolled up like a little paper roll. And as they start to open, then that's when you get to see them flick and open up. The prayer plant is very interesting. Uh, the reason it has its name is that during the day, it's um, pointed down in order to receive the light. But as it starts getting darker or at the end of the day, then they start to lift up. Um, and it's just really exciting to see them kind of lower and rise and, and flick around as they're opening up their new leaves. So it's a very active plant if you like to see a lot of movement from your plants. Watering your Maranta is very tricky because the plant is easily affected by the chemicals in your tap water. So when you're using tap water, you'll notice that your leaves will start getting these crispy brown edges, particularly on the tip like this. I stopped using tap water when I noticed this and now use uh, filtered water from a Brita. You can also use distilled water if you purchase that at a grocery store. Changing to distilled water or uh, filtered water from a Brita is going to keep your leaves looking really nice and much healthier than if you were using tap water. Marantas also love humidity. So if you have a humidifier, put your Marantas near a humidifier or you can use a spray bottle to just spray and mist on top of it like that. I do this daily. If it's, a, if it's winter time, then I do it maybe two to three times a day because winter is more dry. Summer time, again, if it's near a warmer window, then you want to spray it as well. But try not to do too close and drench the leaf. You just want to do just a light misting like this every so often, and then it will stay pretty happy. The Marantas like to keep moisture in their soil, but they don't like to stay wet. So you wanna make sure excess water is drained all the way out and that um, the soil retains just a, a, enough moisture to keep it happy. And so picking your soil, you want um, soil that has bark and peat moss and perlite with a little mixture of the potting mix, regular soil, so that um, it keeps the moisture, but also any excess moisture 
drains all the way out. And to know when to water it again, you can stick your finger on the top most. Since this pot is small, I go up to the first knuckle. And if I still feel a little bit of coolness or moisture or the soil is sticking to my finger a little bit, then I know it's okay. If I do that maybe later this week and it's just dry, then that's when I want to water it again with filtered water. If you have a bigger pot like I had over here, because there's more soil, it's going to trap a lot more moisture. So you want to stick your finger at least to the second knuckle. So by the second knuckle, if it's feeling completely dry in different areas, then you want to water. But you don't want to water this too often because it has a lot of soil to hold moisture already and you don't want to cause any problems with too much moisture drowning your roots. I keep the main green marantas next to the humidifier and then I also have a lot of my propagating plants uh, near the humidifier as well and this is a east facing window so it gets a lot of morning sun early day sun and I have it slightly filtered um, but also the light is not very harsh so it keeps these leaves pretty happy and it makes them grow really big my other two marantas are on a wall near a south facing window and so they do get a lot of sun during the day i've have actually filtered i put a filter on it so that it's not too harsh if you want to learn how i created these macrame hangers i'm actually going to be doing a video next time on how i've created these diy plant hangers At first I was really hesitant about pruning the main mother plant uh, marantas, but now I love doing it, especially as your plant in the growing seasons of spring and summer get really heavy and dense. You want to cut up a couple of the stems with leaves in order to lighten it and also now make new plants. So these were some of the uh, leaves that were growing on top and kind of falling over my planter and Now after a couple of weeks, they've grown some really nice roots So notice how in the stem they cluster There's like this nice little intersection between the stem and the leaf and any of these little nubs here have the opportunity to grow roots and then become a new plant so when you see a cluster like this, if you kind of get close and you cut here, this part could turn into a new plant and keep the rest. I wanted to keep it as much as possible because then when I plant it, it's going to be really lush. Notice also that um, I have a lot of leaves here. You want to keep at least two to three leaves on a stem with a node in order to, for it to have good success. Since I have more than two or three, it took a lot longer for the roots to grow because the plant is using a lot of energy to keep the leaves nice as well as grow roots. So take your time, be patient with the plant uh, but to make sure that it grows uh, really strong roots. I have them in mason jars and I have them in filtered water. I change out the water uh, once a week, sometimes every other week is, is just as good. This one here, you'll notice that now it's much longer. So this one should be ready to be planted soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited that I got to share my Maranta plants with you. If you have other questions or tips, throw them into the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye.